All right, guys, um, if you're wondering why my box looked like that, where the uh, Mate 3 was, and now is the Mate 2 on there, there's a reason. Stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe live from the channel, JW Solo USA, live from Minnesota. I've been doing a lot of projects. I've been doing a lot of testing and I've been analyzing stuff back and forth. And guys, you know the way I do things and sometimes go back and forth and demonstrate and show how things work. So far, so good. I think I've done enough testing on the Mate 3, the guy right here. If you don't know why or we come into a conclusion where we were or where we are right now. So this is the one old deal. So this guy was on excessive testing and messing, tweaking, you know, tweaking stuff and whatever. The Mate 2, which is the black object right there, this is just the advanced um version of it the mate 3 that there, there's another one now is a mate 3s which is more advanced probably pretty soon it's gonna go absolute and uh they're gonna come up with something else oh, it's already out there i don't even have time to check it but this is the thing guys this mate 3 mate 2 over there is designed for this guy here the outback my version is the um the uh, FX 3048. So it's designed for that. It's not designed for this one. Now you guys probably wonder why I bought this one. Well, the reason I bought this one is because of, you can see, there was a lot of projects I was be, uh, I've been doing back, you know, with different outbacks and all that kind of stuff because there's a project I'm going to be utilizing those. You can use the FXR, uh, G, GVFX or GFXR um, uh, inverters like this guy here, like the other brothers of these or sisters of this, they use the Mate 3. And most of them that uses the, uh, the uh, uh, integrated grid tie system, Mine is not a grid tie system. Mine is just a standard standalone, which is a mobile version. It's made for RVs. It's made for um, uh, um, uh, royal buses or whatever you call them. You can use on a vehicle. You can use it off grid too. It's a die hard machine. So that's why it's different from the other one. The MT is the mobile version of it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, um, I was doing testing. And I just decided to mess around because since I have this guy, um, sorry, since I bought this guy and I never had the FNDC, which I'm going to take this guy off, the FNDC, that guy in there. Remember this box, I fabricated this box. Look at that, how I fabricated a PVC box for Outback. So you guys can see. For those of you who are curious about the wires that um, on the back of the Mate 3 or Mate 2, I had a question there. It's just an Ethernet cable that is here. An Ethernet cable, which this green wire plugs into here. is the same that way. So I hope um, you can see. They are just little tiny wires, which are um, a Cat Cat Six, Cat Five cable, and uh, and only the wire that is kind of a little bit thicker is the one that comes through the um, the the DC part of it that comes from the batteries that fits. All these ones are like a telephone wire that came with the system 
see them it's a tiny green and white you can put for shunt one you can have three shunts here shunt a b and c so you can put like a solar wind or hydro or solar array one you gotta have many arrays array one and array two you want to monitor them the way the production is or you have you have a east and west or whatever facing you have there you can able to use this to give you different um uh, uh stuff or maybe you have different set of batteries you want to you just want to um monitor differently you can do that with this uh um the mate uh, sorry the fndc the flexnet dc or the outback so you can put different power stuff whatever you want to do and three you have a three things that you can have three shunts um, you can able to utilize to give you shunt A, B, and C for different monitoring. You can monitor different things. So, guys, this is the reason. So, if you watch this box, it's supposed to be vertical, which I'm going to be doing. And here, this cut I just put in here was this guy here. Yeah, this is for the uh, Magno, Magnosign, the MEARC-50 was here so i just decided to put them here and i have the mate which is this one here mate 2 was sitting right there so um when i got the uh, mate 3 this guy here i just decided to mount it right there to cover those holes so if you see yesterday on the video that's why i came up with the the bracket that's supposed to go with it so because I don't want to buy the brackets, like um, someone mentioned on the comment, it costs so much. Why do you have to buy something expensive like this? It didn't come with a bracket, mounting bracket, nothing. You have to pay for it again. So exactly. I don't just want to complain about it because it's a choice you're making. So, um, so that's why I took this Mate 3 out. And now you have the hole. You see, this one is designed. I used my drum mill and everything. I mounted it and cut this one. I made a video on that. Check on my playlist. How I fabricated a PVC box to mount my um, mate, Outback Mate 2, which is this guy here. This guy. So then I add, okay, this box is empty. Let me just put another one here, which was the uh, MEARC. 50. I want to keep everything the controllers on one of these on these boxes so I can have everything on one command Okay, I don't want them scattered everywhere if I come here to do a tweaking or change any parameters It's gonna be you know MERC 50 and um, Outback mate so all of them on the same side in the one central command So this is why you guys are gonna be seeing this. I might bring this back but I want, I'm just wondering what am I going to do with this hole since I decided to move all my stuff so that all the magnum can be on one place. So each uh, pro object or each device, sorry, that's the word, each device is going to be on his or own location. That's what I did. So I decided to move the MEARC over there. And took it off from that box. But well, that box is going to look funny now, ugly, which um, I don't like. I might probably fabricate that again. I don't have that piece I took off. I kept that for a while, but I decided I'm going to do something. I was, I was thinking probably I was going to go to the cities today and see what I can find so I can cover that thing with a black something or whatever it is so I can able to utilize. I have a second one, brand new, but I'm not going to ruin it. Just that box. So I want to see if that plastic thing is going to come out. And I can find a blank one over there. I can just put it back and cut one hole for that. But I'm not going to throw the one that is already there. Because I might probably change again the mere future. Take the MEARC, which is the Magnum remote over there, and bring it back there. So it's a perfect, already align everything in there. So I'm just going to leave the way the, um, the FNDC in that box. But this is the upgrade I'm going to be doing, guys. I re removed uh, the testing for the uh, Mate 3 
is almost is done. Okay, I play around it. I know about it. I know what to do, and I understand it perfectly. And this is the way I want it to be run. <clears throat> That's why it's already seen. I brought the. Uh, I showed you the video yesterday. You haven't seen it? Check the video before this. You see exactly what I'm talking about. Sorry, uh, my voice is kind of a little bit um, off because I think I want to catch some cold. I don't know. It's kind of voice is kind of throat is kind of dry. So I kept clearing my voice, my throat all the time. So um, this is uh, the plan, and I'm gonna rearrange that side of the box. But like I say, um, I have a lot of things to do here at the command center of the JW Solar USA. Stay tuned because there's something gonna change here. Something gonna change. Stay tuned for that uh, upgrade. I'm not satisfied yet the way um, the thing is. I already have a lot of holes in my on my board, which I, I want to uh, fill up again, but I don't want to do so because of, I might probably put a hole back there. So what I did last time, I put a cover like a kind of glue, like you okay, can mix in glue. It looked like a silicone, right? So I just punched the hole back. So I want to keep putting the holes on the wood, on the wood and makes the the one old uh, board uh, weak. But um, this is why I'm trying to centralize everything and something's gonna happen here around this thing. It's gonna, gonna see a clean setup or whatever, um, way, way maybe professional, if that's what you call it. But I might probably change it again. So that's the thing. So different equipment, different testing, different things I do, I change things rapidly. Okay, that's why I have it not mounted on the wall. It has its legs and where the batteries are all attached to because it would have been a lot of mess. Since I like to tweak things around, I like to test things around, I like to get some new products, I like to do testing. So this is what it is. And this is what you guys love about me and this is what you guys, uh, I like about myself. And I'm not just going to install something. I'm done with it. I don't talk about it anymore. I want new things. I want to test things. I want to do latest technology. What is there? What is out there? What am I supposed to do now? On what direction I have to go? But well, this is just I'm keep on talking. But anyway, that's the reason why you can see that. Because the May 3, the May 2 is going to be going back there. The May 2, the black guy, the black right guy right there hanging so it's gonna get back there it has a cool features though when i install it that i see it can do a screen back and forth and show all the state of chart different things it's like a rapid uh, screen you know you keep rotating I, I like it all right it's going for that because i'm not gonna put the expensive stuff on that inverter which that inverter is only designed to use a mate to and I can't do is the programming only the programming monitor. If you have the the FNDC, the FlexNet, this that the black box inside that PVC box. So I don't worry about it. And um, you might probably see an upgrade of a Mate 3S coming in the near future while taking this other one off that was hanging there, and um, maybe some new stuff coming in. To match the the latest technology on that board for the inverter, who knows? Just keep watching, and subscribe, and turn the notification bell for more videos to come in the future and more upgrades. Live from the command center, JW Solar USA. Sorry, the video is kind of long, but I hope you worth it. And please like it, sub subscribe, and share it. Thanks for watching. Live from Minnesota, JW Solar USA. I love you guys all. Happy weekends. Happy Labor Day. Bye for now.